On the phone. I wasn't on the phone. You're on the phone right now. Well, now I'm videotaping you because you're scaring me. License, registration, insurance, sir. Can I ask why you stopped me, please? For speed. For speed? Apparently, you don't understand that lights and sirens mean that you have to pull over to the right and you continue to try to turn into traffic. I was trying to get us out of traffic, actually, and that was the direction I was traveling. So you just thought you could continue to travel with me behind you with my lights and sirens on? At an intersection, sir? And I was trying to get to the next safest spot without blocking the intersection. I thought that was fine. No. Nope. Well, lights and sirens mean you pull to the right immediately. Okay. Can I request a supervisor at the scene, please? No. I cannot. You can't. Okay. Well, I'm going to my oncologist to ask him. Yeah, I understand, ma'am. Well, so I'll be done with him shortly. Thank you. I appreciate it. Any issues that you have, sir, you can bring them up to the court when you fight the ticket. So you're denying me right to have a supervisor? You don't have a right to request a supervisor, sir. Okay. I just want to end the duty right now. Like What's that? I'd like to have a witness. Okay. Everything's on camera and is being recorded. Sure. Camera? Yes, sir. Oh, good. Okay. You got your registration? So you saw me turn around on Maple Ave. I come up behind you. So we're sitting at the light. You turned your lights off at the light. I just, because I didn't want, I didn't, right, I can't, now I, right, and now I can't conduct a traffic stop with you in the, at the intersection. I don't know that. So I turn off the lights, we turn on to this, I light you up, and then you continue to try to turn on to 163. To get out of the intersection. That's, a, that's an issue. You're supposed to pull to the, right, that you're supposed to pull to the right, sir. I was going to as soon as I cleared the intersection, sir. Have you had anything to drink today? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being facetious, I'm, I'm uh, seriously yeah, asking you. Have you used the Yeah, I'm I'm so, No, no, I'm just getting your name, Mr. Shepard. Right, it's Officer Shepard, it'll be all on the infraction. Great, okay, thank you. All right, so this is the thing. So you're from Manchester? Uh, new address on the back, sir. Oh, you got a new address on the back? Yes, sir. So you're in Cheshire? Yes, sir. All right, so you change your registration and license with DMV? I just moved to Cheshire, sir. I believe it's updated. Okay. Did you, did you tell the DMV that you changed your red, the residency? When I bought the car, the, the... Yes, I did. I registered with DMV. Yeah, okay, all right, perfect. How long have you been living in Cheshire? Uh, six months. About six months. All right. And you... You're bringing your mother. Cousin. I'm sorry, I can't hear anything. Cousin. Cousin. So she's in Montville, that's why you're taking her to Montville? No, she, he is bringing me to Mass General to see my uncle. Okay. Right. I'm a two time cancer survivor. All right. And we'd like to get to Boston. I understand that, ma'am. Traveling, I was wondering how you're talking about speed. It's with radar. You're While doing. You're that's how radar works, sir. But you were coming okay. from the opposite direction. Yeah, the right. picture is how you know I was traveling fast. With the radar, I just explained that to you, with the radar. So you travel with your radar on? Yes, that's okay. what we do. You see people, cops with radar, they're parked. No, that's laser. That's two different two different things, two different things. So radar picks up an object coming. I coming from the opposite direction. I don't see how that works. It's okay, I'm not gonna... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not a problem, that's not a problem. So I but like I said, as safe as I could, sir. I didn't want to stop. All right. So the roads that you're traveling, just so you're aware, on Maple Ave. I don't know where your cousin lives. I don't know where you picked her up from. I live at Hillcrest. I'm sorry. I, I live at Hillcrest. I own a house. Okay. So she lives at so she lives at Hillcrest. So Maple Ave is 25 miles an hour. You're doing 42. Okay. All right.
right? That's the reason you get stop. And then the whole issue that we're having with me trying to direct you over here, mm -hmm. because you're continuing to try and turn on to 163, mm -hmm. is me lighting you up and telling you sirens and then the horn, you're telling me I'm being aggressive, is to get you pulled over to the right because that's what you're supposed to do. Right. Not continue to go in traffic. And if you pulled over to the right over here, that'd be a problem. It's kind of scaring me. You do have a loudspeaker. You could have just indicated to me, please pull over or something. I was trying to, uh, Clear you know, the yeah, yeah, no, I, follow your thing. It wasn't like I was trying to flee. It, it so my, 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 my lights and siren are aggressive. The loud horn on top of that, then you turn them on, you turn them off. I'm all confused at that point. I am thinking, what? all right, maybe he's going to a medical. How can I pull over to let him pass? That's what I'm trying to do. I thought you might have had a, Dispatch for a medical emergency. I was how would period. you know? How would you know that? Because you're supposed to pull over to the right, correct? And that's what I tried to do as soon as I could, safely, without blocking the intersection. There's no place to, to pull right. over on. There's a whole shoulder right there, ma'am. Well, I'm not, again, we, I'm, I'm going to go take care of the paperwork. I'll get you your paperwork, and you'll come back, and you, then you can just write it in, send it into the court, and explain what happened. Sure. All right. So tight. Fourteen forty five A one.
right, sir. Here's your license back. So your insurance card shows your correct address at 187 Elmwood Drive. Both your registration and your license still show to be in Manchester. So they, you haven't changed your address with DMV? Uh, yeah, I know. I see the sticker. The sticker you can get from any police department, but you still have to notify the DA or DMV of your change of address. I just bought this car and I thought the dealers said you took care of all that, but I will now that you notified me take care of it. Okay. So he gave me the sticker of the dealership. Oh, they gave they gave you a sticker? And they said we'll handle all that because I told them I need to register. Yeah, well, they apparently didn't. All right. So you're gonna get a ticket for the speed, 42 and a 25. I'm going to give you one count of uh, failure to notify DMV a change of address. In the state of Connecticut, you have 48 hours to notify the DMV a change of address. So it's one count for your license, one count for your registration. I'm only going to give... my registration exactly. What is it? Failure to notify? Correct. Failure to, for failure to notify DMV. And I just bought this car six months ago. Right. In the state of Connecticut, you have 48 hours to notify DMV. Once you say if you move from one, one city to another, one street to another, you have to notify DMV uh, within 48 hours. Okay. All right. The statue will be right here on the ticket. And again, I'm only going to give you one count of it. Each You should get one count for your registration, one count for your license, and any registered vehicles that you have to you. You'll have until the 19th of July to pay your plea. All the instructions are on the back of the ticket are also on the envelope. Yep. Do you have any questions, sir? I do, sir. Yep. Um, your badge number, sir? It's 21, sir. 21, and you're affiliated with the Colchester Police Department? I, I, I'm not from the area, sir. We're, we're in Montville, sir. You don't know where you are? No. The line of questioning is appreciated. I just didn't know where you work, sir. Don. I'm, a, I'm asking you. you a bunch of towns to take her to Boston. Yeah, sometimes you're not. Right, you just, picked her, you just picked her over Hillcrest in Montville, though. I picked, her, I picked my cousin up at her house. Okay, so. This, on this sorry. Hill, I have a different zip right. So this is, this is me on the bottom here. Great. All right. So my badge number through Montville is 21. It says EC51 on here through the state police. Great. All right, do you have any other questions? I sir? do. I just want to recap again um, how things transpired at the intersection. When we approached the intersection, you turned your lights on. You turned them on. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if you were responding to a medical call, then got cleared from that call. I had no idea you were stopping mm -hmm. to get this call. You had done a U-turn and you had turned your lights on, correct? Yeah. Right. You stopped at the intersection. My goal, because we're trying to get on 395, is to get in the left lane to hit the 395. Mm -hmm. The intersection's right there. Sir, I didn't, I didn't charge you with failure to yell to an officer's signal. I'm not saying you did, sir. I'm okay. my side of what happened. So if you understand from the driver's perspective, you can calm down for a minute. Because you're a little bit aggressive. I'm not being aggressive. You're just a little bit aggressive. Question about what I was drinking to. I asked you my phone when because I, I had an order. I have an odor of alcohol, and you had your phone in your hand when I showed up. Oops. Well, you have Purell in your car, so it probably would make sense. Right. So, and again, you had your phone in your hand when I walked up to the window. And again, I didn't charge you for being on your cell phone. So I don't I understand why. Right. I, I wasn't anyway. That's me to hear when we cleared the intersection, as you whipped me up and started blaring your horn, mm -hmm. I was already moving into the left lane because that was my direction of travel. You said I should have got to the right lane immediately. You didn't, all that didn't transpire after the light cleared. Now we're all in the middle of the intersection. Mm -hmm. So for me to get to the right lane, I had to have to cross into the right lane from where I am, check the cars behind me, which puts me in a hazardous position. Get over to the right to meet your command. Whereas if I stayed in the left and pulled over, I wasn't trying to Sir, you're you can... in an intersection trying to clear it. You made it seem like I wasn't complying. And I'm saying, you know, in those fraction of a second, suddenly I'm like, oh, it's after me, it's going to we can go by. And I'm trying to just get out of your way, staying in my direction of travel, rather than cross over another lane of traffic. Sir, there's that's only one lane. There's only one lane there. There's not two lanes. That's the sho That's the shoulder. There's a left lane. No, nope, there's one lane. There's All right. Well, there. everybody goes. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking though, it's, if I'm starting to turn left, I'm now switching my position. That's a dangerous move. All right, and it. I so, think most I'm just letting you know what the law requires. The re right. law requires you to pull to the right. You gotta give me time to do so. Correct. Right. Going to an intersection. I feel like you did. That's just my perspective. Yeah, no, that, that, that's, so, that's totally. Passenger. Yeah, that's totally understandable. Yeah. You can you can talk to them about it. And like I said, everything. Once we made it into the intersection, yeah. I lit you up, and you you pulled into this side, and you continue instead of pulling to the right and trying to slowly make to the right, you are still trying to go left to go on to the next road on 163. I right there, because I thought it'd be Wh which would be a completely bad area to do so. I don't know the area. I understand that. Yeah. But that's why I need you to pull to the right. 
And that's why the additional horn and blasting of the horn is to make you understand that I need you to pull to the right. And apparently you did, you understood that because we here we are now. Yeah. But for future reference, that just for me it made me sort of panicky. Like I didn't I, know what direction you're going. Well, listen, I understand. I understand that. Obey your command and get out of your way. I'm thinking someone might be having a heart attack. I really thought you were going to do medical. Either, e, e, but either or, you're still supposed to pull to the right. How do you know what I'm going to? I can't stop and say, hey, sir, sure. i got to go to a medical. Can you please pull over to the right? Or, sir, I'm pulling you over because you're speeding. Okay. I'm going to file a complaint against you. Yeah, that's, that's not a problem. That's no issue. Okay. Do you have any other questions, sir? No. All right. So for you to go down, you're going to go down here, take a right. You can either turn around on that street or that street will pop you back out. So you, you want to get on 395 here, right? Yeah, I'll find my way. All right. There you go. Or if you want, you can go straight, right down, uh, about a mile and a half. The police department's on the right. I'll come back to pick up that form. I'll get it on. All right, I'll perfect. I'll probably call the supervisor anyway when I get to Boston. Okay, not a problem. Yeah, just pull out, drive safe, and be careful when you pull out. Don't get struck. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.